right, all right. Weapon number 19. We're getting close to that weapon 20 mark. Second round number. Let's first speed the wheel. And we'll see what is tonight's weapon going to be. It is a forked great short. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Let's find out then, shall we? At least it's a great sword, so it can't be that bad, right? Use it by imps. Oh yeah, it's one of those. But it has bleed. Oh yes. Oh yes. Then it's definitely not that bad. Great sword that has bleed. Uh, but the question is, what is the base drop rate? Well, it's 2%. Base drop rate 2% actually isn't that bad. Dropped by the imps using this weapon. Best place to farm it is roads and scattergumps. It's once again stamp upward cut <laughs> Ashafar the third time, so I think we're gonna change the Ashafar for something else today. We're going on a field trip to roads and scattergumps to kill some fucking imps. But before we go into the video, just a quick reminder that if you are enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, please hit the like button and the comments down below. It really does help YouTube algorithm to share the videos with others as well. And for the new viewers, here are the rules of this challenge. But now let's get back to the video. We obviously take samurai, it's easier to farm with this guy. Gold infusion will be good. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe we go for Renala today then, instead of Radon and get the magic wet blade. Wild strikes. If I can put that on, then why not? Just don't know exactly where to get it, but oh, it's probably not a problem. It's on the way to market wild strikes. Okay. Oh, yeah. One of the scarabs. There we go then. That might as well be our ash of what today. We'll see how long it takes, but if we get the first one quickly, we might even go for a second one and do a power stance build. I fucking love a power stance build. They are amazing. Not sure how good they are with great swords, but I guess you can just spam jump attack. <laughs> then the Asafar maybe doesn't matter that much, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's first get one of those and see how long that takes. You guys know how many different imp weapons there are. I believe there are more than just this one. Only two. What is the other one again? The hatchet. Oh yeah, true. I guess next we just go to Leonia to get the weapon, yeah. Actually, what are the weapon requirements, first of all? 14 strength, 16 dexterity. There we go. And then I guess just rest the vigor, probably. Mm, get 20 vigor and 2 endurance. There we go. Anyways, hello, tops. Yep, farming time soon. <laughs> oh, joy. Well, at least it can't be worse than the celebrant rip break farm, so anything after that honestly feels quite an easy farm. Nah, I'm trying to think where the fuck do I want to go. Yes, we need to go here, yeah. And yeah, then left somewhere here. It's right here. I remembered. Even without any help. Here we go. Road and get a comes. Very first imp here. Two yards from the grace is supposed to have the four great shots, so I guess we just yes, kill this guy all <laughs> over and over again. Okay, then that's uh, an embarrassing start. Okay, this camera angle is also not the best. I'm definitely not going to die to you. Not a fucking single time. Imagine. Imagine. Fucking imagine. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> First try with 2% base drop rate. <laughs> that is some luck. What the hell? Well, seems like we're gonna go for another one. For some power stance action. No way we're getting two in a row. Absolutely no way. Okay, yeah. Got it first try here. That's absolutely mental. At least we stagger him. Straight up, so... There's no absolute loop. This can't be true. This cried three times and I got two of the weapons. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is absolute madness. What the fuck? I think I've ever been this lucky in my life. It's a 2% chance. I got two with three kills. That, uh, 
What? Was the fastest farm of all time. Maybe we try to get the head for, for a second here. I don't know what is the drop rate for that. It would be cool. And last try. Nope. Alright. Well, I'm still definitely very satisfied here. <laughs> no head today. I'm afraid. What uh, do we do next? Might as well go for the Sminister Bell Bearing list up here. So now that we have two of these, I think we're gonna go for the Claw Talisman. Maybe even for the Black Feathered Raptor Armor, actually. Why not? Uh, what else do we want for Power Stancing? Eh, maybe that's it. Very much. This really doesn't look like a great sword. It's a fucking fork. That's what it is. <laughs> now it's time to kill the Crystallium. As always. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, what was the plan again? I can't think. I guess we can upgrade, but we don't really have much money to do that. Oh yes, that is very much true. I could just kill Grayall. Why not? We need a lot of money to be able to upgrade these things. Should go for the Golden Foulfoot as well. Here we go. The bullet broke always surprises me. Now we can definitely upgrade. Also get some levels, I guess. Oh yeah, one the plus eight and one the plus seven. I have too many runes here now. <laughs> I don't want to go too overpowered, I guess. Uh, I hate some vigor. Oh, let's hit 20 decks then. Yep. Sure. And now, let's go for the wild strikes, put that on, and then we're ready to go to market, start killing things. Is it just this scarab that just chills here somewhere? This, this, this little guy. That has the wild strikes. Apparently, yes. Alright. It's time to go kill some things. Starting with without market. Also remember to mix the physic here. And here we go. That is decent damage. That is decent damage for sure. Come on, boy. Don't just dodge everything. Oh, wow, the passing skill. That's the bleed. Nice. Do some wild strikes. And a nice stagger. And mark it down. Just like that. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Obviously we are quite high leveled. <laughs> With the Grail kill and everything, but still. Now I wanna go for the Claw Talisman for sure. There we go. Good old Claw Talisman. Now let's go to Godric. No time to waste. That's the bleed. That's the second first run system. Need some stamina here. <laughs> and bang, bang, bang. Shit. <laughs> There's the stagger. Hoping for a little bit past the second, but there we go. Got Rick down. 
Weapon so far, looking very good. Obviously, power stancing helps, but also bleed helps. So, go for Renala next. Get the magic wet blade. So, we're gonna go frost and bleed. Well, that's gonna be overpowered, but why not? Good old red wolf next. Should be able to do this with just a few hits, honestly. There we go. Dekka goes down. And I believe the magic wet blade is right here. Down here or up there? Down here, yes. Right here. A glintstone wet blade is actually the one it's called. Or whatever. Let's go put that on then. Frost build up 95. Jesus Christ, already. Bloodless build up 50. Do I even want to power stance now? Guess it doesn't hurt us, right? Oh, well, let's go kill Renala first, anyways. Good old Renala, I haven't fought her for a while. Mostly just doing redarm, but good to change up things a bit, time to time. Oh, fuck off. That's a bit um, embarrassing. Shit. Not the moon, not the moon. Someone's really just uh, annoying <laughs> at this point. Ah, oh, fucking camera lock. There we go. There we go. It wasn't too bad. Even with the gold infusement. Let's go get the talisman pouch. I think we're gonna go... Well, we're gonna go for both rich also talisman and the green turtle talisman. But for now, let's just go for the green turtle talisman. Why not? Wall strikes. Yeah, I really haven't, really haven't used this much. Yeah, maybe we need to start using that a bit more. Depends on the boss though, when it's useful, when not. On to Altus and straight up to DTS, honestly. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, we're gonna go get the next bell bearing and upgrade the weapons first. Here we are, here we are, Altus Plateau. So actually, we might as well go for Gedeka. Get the talisman already. Let's quickly kill this guy. We might as well use the wild strikes here, I guess. Yeah, that's a bleed and that's a frost. <laughs> Actually, other way around. I guess we broke the frost first and then bleed. We have now, like, you know, two different things. We can all either use the jump attacks against some bosses or then just spam the wild strikes against other bosses. There we go. Let's go kill Gary. Fall time six. Fuck this guy. Also. And imagine this is perfect. <laughs> right here. There we go. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> that felt good. Fuck you, Gary. Yeah, Mr. Head. Head of the family. Wild Strikes is just a cheat code against NPCs. Next up, go for the bell bearing. Then go for the upgrades. And then DDS. One thing not so good about this weapon is the <laughs> visual part of the weapon. <laughs> I think it's such a ugly weapon. I guess it fits to those imps, but that's it. It's a stone fork. That's what it is. There we go. Pot plus 12. Might as well use the remembrance system. I'd love to hit for the vigor. Yep. Get exactly for the vigor with that amount of <laughs> runes. Perfect. Oh, I did yes. This time, don't be a fucking asshole like last time. I'm, I'm begging. I guess I could have went for the uh, wild strikes in the beginning here. That's, that's one of the attacks I hate the most in this entire game, and I just tilted because of that. The fucking fast swing a DDS can do. I feel like it's impossible. 
impossible to dodge. Okay, let's try the wild strikes in the beginning here. There we go. Nice bleed. That one. Nice bleed. Nice stagger. Okay, that was a mistake. Find up. And there we go. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. It's going to be smooth sailing from here on. Absolutely nothing that can go wrong. Anyways, first we go for gold free. Oh man, I really wanted to hit that. Hit a hitless gold free here, but. There it goes. Unforge. Camera angle was a bit. Uh, I guess. Just his placement was a bit awkward then. Anyways, there we go. Still not a hit, let's go for I really want to hit that soon. Really should have hit, got that like already. We'll get there eventually. We go for the shackle next. Wait, I always forget to <laughs> hold the damn button. Now, just realized we definitely don't have the optimal tier here because we never go for the charge attack here but honestly it doesn't matter that much i guess we should maybe go for another tier but whatever maybe at some point now let's go in see how fast we can proc them here frost already there when we can uh, there's the bleed as well that's quite nice there we go Not too shabby. Yeah, that was not good. not a good trade-off, honestly. Be still careful here. Damage otherwise really isn't that amazing. Aside from the passive effects. Fuck. No. That's the bit of me. Oh, there we go anyways. First try, baby. Time to head 
into the mountain tops. Actually, you might as well kill Sabriri here for the griefs and the gloves. As we are still using the samurai outfit. Partially here. And I have no love for this guy. And we have the wild strikes. <laughs> so I can't, <laughs> can't do anything. There we go. No, 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 no. Plus 8 theme. Jesus fucking Christ, 100 frost buildup. That is huge. That is huge. Mm, yeah, level up. I uh, guess just dex. Yep. Alright. Time to go. Kill fire giant next. This should be fun. If this ginger bastard behaves tonight. We'll see about that. Bang, 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 bang. Really didn't get that many. I guess we should probably uh, break the angle first and then... Hmm. Forget how much fire chance still moves. It's quite hard to connect with all of the wild strikes then. Also, it's a bit dangerous. You have to know when to stop. That's the bleed. That's the blood. Uh, Frost and bleed. Yeah, frost first and then it was bleed. Maybe I actually want to just go for the jump attacks. I know them better. Can't really roll away when you are there. Don't really like fighting you near the deep border here. If you would be so kind, I'd come over here. No? Okay then. Shit. No way the fucking border almost fucked me over the Nah, could you be so kind and come over here? I don't like fighting you that close to the fucking water of the arena.
Thank you. That's more like it. Excellent stagger. Fuck, just kind of wasted. Wasted the opportunity there. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine, it's soon over, anyways. There we go. Alright. Fire champ down. First try. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fire room Azula. And on to Guts Can Duo next. They only have five crack pots, I believe, but that should be enough. Yeah. Let's go with five. Let's go in. Guts Can Duo time. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck was that? Why did he stop? I definitely did not fuck off. The damage isn't great. Obviously we can get the frost and bleed there, but I don't know if it's better to go for jump attacks or the wild strikes there. You can follow it up with the heavy or light attack. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I should use that then, yeah. Let's try that again. Yes. That's much more fucking like it. Okay. That is much more like it. <laughs> Alright. I gotta have the mana pot as well because I'm gonna be out of mana soon. The fat is better. Nope. I didn't. Mean to do that. Kinda fucked it. Kinda fucked it. Kinda fucked it. Just don't panic. No. No way. Don't panic, just don't panic. No way. Gosh. There we go. Ho ho ho. Okay. <laughs> that worked very well. Thank you. You should full time for reminding me that I can follow it up with the heavy or light attack. It really came in clutch there. I was able to uh, stagger. Uh, if I wouldn't have made any mistakes, I could have done it hit less even there, but still made some stupid mistakes. Anyway, it's fine. Second try. Actually, I'm going to level up. The weapons. First, then I'm gonna go Gilgaron for the other plus 25. There we go. Much better. Get the other one, the plus 25. There we go. Now, let's also sell all our runes. I can just use the rest of my runes to the leveling. 
Now, time to go to Malikat. Definitely going to put on this talisman. Sure. I don't know if the power stacks really has been that helpful here with this sword, honestly. I mean, I like to go for power stacks every time we have the chance because it is not too often we get to do that. But maybe for like great shots, it isn't amazing. Maligat time, though. Let's go beat this doggo uh, again. Ah, good. That's unfortunate. You know what? I'm going single-handed here. The other animation is too slow with two shorts. That's what got me killed. Uh, the way I like to fight my legate is to have a quick weapon. So, yeah. <sighs> that was just me being a shit player. Let's go again. Very nice. Just a bit awkward. <laughs> Always when you stagger him just before the second fist. Frost. Very nice. I can't see, and I'm almost fucking dead because of that. The pillar came the way there. So let me heal like an attack time, thank you. Being very kind. Being a bit of a nurse. Wow, that was just my bad. Shush, that was close. What? This is long ass fight against Malekat, what the hell?
There we go. Sheesh. This is one of the longest fights against Mulligans. Honestly, <laughs> damage alone wasn't amazing. Wasn't amazing. <laughs> Time to go absolutely obliterate Gideon. How do you like this, Gideon? Didn't work as well as I hoped for. You can still get far enough. Unforge. But there we go. Unfortunately, was not able to wild strike him all the way. Now, Godfrey. Um, do I want power stance against Godfrey? I. Guess. I guess, yeah, why not? Let's go. What? I got hit by. I'm not having that. I'm not gonna get hit by the first attack. Fucking hell, and the second one straight up. Forget that ever happened. We go in again. It's actually better this way. Nice. Maybe get up. Use the wild strikes there, but that works as well. Kind of pressed the wrong button there. It's an interesting phase transition. Another stacker already? Jesus, okay, well, I, I'll take that. Shit. Oh, there we go. Quite an easy cut free fight, after all. Two stackers like very quickly. Just the last one left. Redigan the Beast. And then we are done with this goofy looking fork. Frost build up to 1 to 27. Holy. How do you like this? Yeah, you don't like it, huh? Do you? Still stupid of me to actually do all that though. Okay. No fucking way. You went for that. You went for that one single attack that kills me there. Well, of course you do. Well, of course you do. Why not, you fucking space worm piece of. Decent damage at least. Oh, that's a pretty neat hitless radigan. Much better than the first trip.
Let's see how our limb beast goes. No, it should be definitely fine with eight flasks. What the fuck are you doing? It's being so weird. Wow, we actually fucking cancelled Elden Stars. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. That is unbelievable. Amazing diamond. Ah, oh, and there we go. I'm a bit sad because it was nearly completely hitless Redagon and Elden Beast, but we got hit once by a stupid fucking hitbox from Elden Beast himself when he goes flying with the rings. Anyways, there we go. The fourth great sword done. Number 19 done. Next up will be our second round number, number 20. Uh, but now, the rating of this weapon though. I think I'm going to give it a Solid 6 out of 10. Naturally has bleed on it. That's something was easy to get, at least for me. <laughs> but where do we put it here in the tier list? Honestly, I really want to put it just somewhere here. Why is Kite so high? It's getting harder every time to put these to the right places. Did this full game ability should I have bleed on it or not? I don't think so. No, it didn't have. So this is at least better than that. Yeah, I think actually... Um, Maybe it goes right about here. Oh, yeah, you know what? It goes here. Just below family heads, but it was better than the scythe. Yeah, for sure. And that's about it for this run. You know the drill. If you enjoyed the content and you want to support the channel, please hit the like button and some comment down below. It really does help YouTube algorithm to share the videos with others as well. And if you don't want to miss the future runs, then I recommend hitting the subscribe button as well. And there is a link in the description to my Twitch channel if you want to see these efforts being done live as well. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video with the next weapon. So... Goodbye.